Hello, this is Shefali Sonone. In my earlier video, I talked about the basic understanding of cyber crime in a general way. Now, with this particular session, I would like to focus more on the terminologies used as hackers and crackers. Of course, if any of the terminology is there, I believe that some behavioral analysis is very important and for that purpose, I have taken some reference of thinking hats and the idea of those differences or rather terminologies are available with the internet itself. And with the help of this, I tried to give some distinction in between the hacker and the cracker, the applicability and the workability under those terminologies, I can say that broad understanding of those, then even though those are defined as the hacker and the cracker, in a way, the literature is giving as if it is the concept of the hacker only. Because we understand that hackers are somehow good guys and crackers are some bad guys, but still the terminologies are given under the hackers itself and we may continue this for finding out different types of the hackers. There is some similar idea which can be introduced as if it is the intruder. So what is the intruder and what are the types of the intruders? I'll have some small discussion over it. And basically for some ethical purposes, if hacking is used, so what is the intention of that hacking? We may have some idea for the discussion purpose. This is very interesting approach. As I said that you can find out some of the literature or the material over the net regarding thinking hats. So whenever any thought process of any of the person is to be understood, then what category of the thought process is there, we can find it out. For example, it is said that white hat people are there who are just working with plain data or some facts and they try to gather information and find out solution out of that information. It is just straightforward calculation with the available data. In contrast to that, if black hat people are there, they are just trying to find out the weaknesses or other loopholes in the data. That means if any data is not available, even if with certain risks, with certain cautions, with certain say uh, risk uh, difficulties, they try to find out the further uh, possibilities of the data and try to extract data from the available one. When the blue hat people are there, they try to manage data in a very proper way. They are very focused people and they are very good to have some summary of the available data itself. Coming for the next category, which is the red hat. Actually, people with the red hat category are slightly emotional or they try to reflect their feelings with their expressions. So their expressions always deal with what will be the solution and if any solution is there, whether that solution is say hurting anyone or not hurting anyone, that precautions are taken whenever the decisions are carried out. When we talk about the yellow hat people, the yellow hat people purely work for the benefit. They are always positive people. They try with the positive aspects. They try to value with the available information. So this kind of the people are very good to get the benefits for the organization itself. And now the green hat people are there. These are actually very different people. They always work with different alternatives or different possibilities and they try to create something. So these people are very, very creative. So if I try to find out this particular thinking hats and if I try to just number, I've given some different numbering rather than what I have explained earlier. I can say that the very basic understanding is with white hat people are there. So white hat people, I try to relate this with certain terminology that white hat people just work with the information. They try to remember the information or this is, these are the Bloom's taxonomy levels, cognitive taxonomy levels are there. So basic level of the remembrance of 
information i can say that this can be done with the white hat users that is recalling of the information what information actually i have what exactly the next information i will require and how i can just process for that information that is the idea for the white hat people the black hat people no i have just gone for the second numbering i have changed the sequence for the second numbering the second number that is the red hat people when i talk about i can say that red hat always go with the level of the understanding so that understanding with the self uh, say uh, emotions or other i can say that with self feeling with with the individual perspective the understanding can be made so explaining ideas or the concepts with the available information with certain feelings in what way i can think in what way i can like this one accordingly the people can interpret the information so that is of course is the understanding level then i can come with the third level or the third category of the hat this is the yellow hat in the case of the yellow hat i would like to say that these people are going for implementation so this is applying level using information and other familiar or rather some concern information is there that can be applied for specific situation and that can be come up for some good points so according to that particular level the yellow hat people are always working the next one i can say that the black hat people come in the picture when the black hat comes in a picture these are actually are very say intelligent people they always try to analyze with the available data they try to break up the information they try to break up the parts and try to explore the understanding or new relationships so always they try to uh, uh, go for different alternatives even though the things are safe or not safe they try to go for it and that's why i can say that these are the people these are very very intelligent people and try to go for the analysis as the one of the level when i go for the next level which is the blue hat for the blue hat as i said it can go for the evaluation so next level of the working that is the evaluation can be carried out with the people who are having the mindset of the blue hat so they just try to go for justifying every possible thing so what decision is carried out what action is carried out they try to go for the justification and then they try to go for next focus of their work so that's why most of the uh, debug debuggers in the programming uh, you can say that these are the blue hat people and uh, next level of the uh, hat is there which is the green hat very interesting thing is that there are different orientations of the hats are given if you find out the picture of this particular slide and you can find out there is a drastic change in the say uh, representation of the green hat so that green hat is somewhat inverted here and i can say that this is actually totally more different than the other one these are just thinking over the creation what exactly is the other part they try to ignore they just go for the generation of the new ideas new products and what is say possibility uh, possibilities are there with those possibilities they can go for the new suggestions and uh, new alternatives so these are most creative people and in most of the companies in r&d department you can find out these creative people are available so this particular analogy is very important if we try to find out certain relationship with the hackers or the crackers i have given here the idea for the hacker so hackers are actually the good people break for obtaining more knowledge and they try to find out the loopholes in the system and help them to cover so that is the idea these are the actually good guys i can say that this white hat people which are considered as the ethical hacker and they go for the good purpose of the thing they are generally programmers or the experts who obtain advanced knowledge that is the recent knowledge about operating system and programming languages they never damage or never harm for any kind of the data so that's why it is said that they are good people and actually you can find out the images given in a very cute way in contrast to that i can say that crackers are there and crackers are actually the black hat users so these are malicious hackers again the hacker is the concept used though these are the crackers as i said that okay hacker is the general concept used hence for so crackers break 
or violates the system or the computer remotely or actually sitting with this one why i am saying remotely because they are not authorized to use that computer system and they can have some bad intention to harm data or they can even steal data itself they try to destroy data and gain unauthorized access to the network and they can work for illegal stuff and are generally hidden they try to bypass password or capture or even guess or even break the password and can uh, break the social media websites so these are though these people are very very intelligent they can use or uh, their intelligence for very wrong purposes so these two are very important and these are used as the white hat hackers or the black hat hackers are there white hat hackers are the actually hackers and black hat hackers are the crackers in our terms in between to that there is one more which is just the combination of the white hat and the black hat which are considered as if these are the great hat gray hat people so they are not so uh, say uh, problematic or even they are not uh, somewhat uh, uh, plain people so these are not ethical uh, all the time they are not uh, going for the malicious activity all the time these are somewhat other way neutral but they are their behavior is somewhat unpredictable so these are the gray hat users and this term is normally not commonly used in the literature now we can say that green hat people as already we have seen these are the creators and these are totally unaware of what data is there what processing is going on what analysis is there what synthesis is there so i can say that these are very very immature in a sense for the breaking of the system itself so these are the unskilled or rather these are the novice people as if the attacker concept is there but these people are very very good and these are having some uh, creation and for the positive purpose they are used or the these are working for upgradation of the system itself the blue hat people these are actually uh, revengeful people or they are rather more aggressive um, and that's why their shrewdness is used most of the times for the debugging purposes and the red hat people actually these people are uh, in a supportive way and they define themselves that is the self declared volunteers are there and they try to give justice to every other one if there is some lack of uh, personnel in any of the team these people try to fill up the gaps and they themselves try to proactively try to work for the organization itself so these are some of the categories and of course we'll try to continue further and in relation to your cracker now we can term those as the hacker itself because this is the broad term now we can move further and we can try to find out the types of the hackers so actually there are seven broad categories of the hackers are given in one way i can say that the first one is the professional hacker where the black hats are the bad guys already we have seen which are the crackers and the white hats which are the uh, hackers these are most of the times are used for the ethical purposes or these are the security experts they use their expertise for the benefits of the uh, other people or for the society itself there is another category which is the script kiddies these are mostly uh, students or the kids with the age of 12 to 18 we can find out this age group most of the times work with uh, internet itself they try to go for some different tools which are the ready made tools and most of the times those tools are uh, been created by black hat users and uh, those users or such tools are to attract the audience or attract the readers or users so accordingly such attraction is there and that's why such particular age group Uh, normally get attracted towards uh, such uh, links and they try to use that particular free stuff stuff which is available over the net okay the next category is the under employed adult okay so i can say that the former script kiddies which were earlier after growing up they can go for some under employed adults and they can go for certain expertise which can be gained from the earlier exp uh, experiences what they had with the earlier stuff the next one is the ideological hacker these are to promote some political or ideological purposes are there purposely these hackers are uh, paid to work for those organizations or for those politicians or for those uh, mal practices are there 
there is another category which i can say that criminal hackers are there so actually these are very dangerous these are real criminals and these are for whatever they get they try to get uh, every possible stuff and they are not thinking that whether their deed is hurting someone or what exactly is the reaction of their deed so these are just going for some breaking or violating all possible things and these can be considered as the criminal hackers the next one is the corporate spies so we can understand that there is a great competition in the market so competitive companies may use these particular corporate spies to steal data or to use the data of other company uh, to come up uh, in the particular competition so these things are available rarely uh, available but still these are there and there is another thing what we can say that disgruntled employees are there so most of the times it happens that employees are working with the organization but by some mean if the employee is thrown away or if employee is not working uh, further or not continuing further with the specific organization then those insiders or rather even though these are the outsiders but knowing the know hows of the insiding of that particular premises those are working to take revenge against the particular organization and that's why these are very dangerous to uh, specific organization or specific company so uh, in a similar way i can say that there are another category of having the classification of the crackers or the hackers and we can term those as the intruder so intruders are there most of the time we can find out that when there is some peripheral security concerns are there whenever we are using some firewalls or even we are using some intrusion detection systems are there so this particular term comes in a picture so i can uh, try to give you some of the classes of the intruders so in a in, in a way in a broad way there are total three classes of the intruders the first one is also uh, called as the masquerade masquerader is one of the idea that is of course is from the outsider of the particular peripheral boundary of the organization so i can say that one entity can pretend as if it is the other one so it is like a spoofing concept and that spoofing concept can be implemented with such type of the attackers and it is an unauthorized user which is the outside user who try to penetrate into the computer system and try to get the access control of the system and try to change the user account so that is the idea with the first category the second category is the misfeasor uh, most of the times this uh, this particular category or these people are insider uh, of the organization or the perimeter boundary what we are saying here these are authorized or rather these are the legitimate users these are allowed to access the uh, resources but some of the privileges are there some of the uh, say even though the access is allowed some of the permissions may not be allowed and still though the permissions are not there these particular people are try to access the things or the resources uh, where these resources are not authorized to access to that particular uh, employee or that particular person itself there is a third category which is called as the clandestine user the person may be the outside person or the person may be the inside person in a both way it can be defined this is again the authorized user okay but it can be also some external agent some or other way might have entered into the particular perimeter of the given system boundary who try to seize this supervisory control of the system and try to use it to avoid or rather to evade the auditing of that access control so even though it is not captured in the auditing then definitely these particular people are harmful so there are three major classes what we can define under the intruder itself so most of the times intruder even though whatever are the classes are there they are having certain common attacks and those common attacks are again broadly discussed in the three categories for the intruder itself though there are number of attacks there are number of categories of the attacks most of the times the common attacks by the intruders are there and in the first way i can say that the recognizance is the first category of the attack this is most of the times is used for the general knowledge gathering attack so these are accessing these are trying to get the knowledge and that knowledge can be gathered with certain attack 
such type of the attacks are there for example i may say that packet sniffings are there or some ping sweepings are there some port scannings are there phishing is also there social engineering attacks are there or even internet information queries are also there so there are so many attacks what we can summarize under this particular first style the second category what we can say that is access which is of course related to violation of the access control so the definition itself comes with the uh, title itself these are coming with some of the sub categories of the attacks may be related to the password attacks related to some trust exploitation may be port redirections are there or even some man in the middle attack or rather message in the middle attacks are there so so many are there attacks are there which will go for violations of the access itself there are some denial of service attack these are of course for the extortion of category of the attacks are there some synchronous flooding may be there some buffer overflows are there some fragmentations uh, in the memories are there uh, now if we continue further that denial of service may be some distributed denial of service of attacks are there that is the ddos are there so these are few of the categories what we can list majorly can be carried out by the intruder itself so coming up um, up with the idea of the ethical hacking so everyone actually knows about the concept that okay if if any uh, behavior of the attacker is to be understood then we have to think in that way only that is the idea so we can say that this is the group of the people who are authorized to attempt to gain the unauthorized access so that they can find out the way for the application so they can have the unauthorized access to the computer system or application or even data and they, they can understand the actions or the malicious attackers how this can be carried out by the bad people and they can try to provide some precautions and some strategies some policies can be defined in what way protection can be carried out so that's why these people are called as the ethical hackers they are allowed to hack the information for example in such cases some purposely uh, defined honey pots are there which can try to attract the attackers so that the behavior of the attacker can be analyzed so such people are having some focuses over some web application hackings are there some social engineering hackings are there some system hacking are there or even hacking for the wireless network or web servers are there so so many areas are there where such ethical hackers try to focus and try to gain their knowledge or improve their expertise so i think uh, i'll just try to uh, i'll just uh, pause here in the next uh, video itself i'll go for the specific uh, idea and the classification of the cyber crime which is going for harming the people and harming the society itself thank you thank you very much